Hello everyone, Misty here. Today we're going to learn how to link Excel, Word, and PowerPoint together so that when you update Excel, your Word and your PowerPoint are dynamically linked. You do not have to go into Word or PowerPoint to change the data in those documents. They will change automatically. So let's get started. Open up Excel and you see I have a monthly spending plan or a budget and this budget is already set up and I actually made the let's make the numbers large so that you can see that so I meant 16,000 okay there you go and there should be when I scroll down the spending income should be um, very large so what I'm going to do first step after you have your data file that you want to link okay so you can pick any data file that you want to link um, in Excel so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a chart so I'm highlighting my months then I'm going down to highlight and I'm holding control while I'm highlighting the total expense and the spendable income okay and I'm going up to insert I'm going to my charts column I'm clicking on columns and I want a 2d column and this is my chart okay so I want to put it on the didn't go anywhere there there it is um, put it on the side so that I can see it clearly there we go okay here and what I want to do is I want to change these um, series one to series two because that doesn't tell me anything I want to know exactly what they are so if I click on let me just show you what I'm doing select data in the data group or my ribbons um, series one I'm going to edit and I know that series one that's my expenses okay I'm going to click on OK. And then I know Series 2, if I click on Edit, that's my spendable income. And I'm going to click OK. And if I scroll over to my chart, I see my expenses are here and my are blue and my spendable income is actually um, red so my spendable income on the first two months is, is higher than what my expenses are and that's how you actually you want your budget to be now we're going to link this chart 16,000 16,000 just checking it and 12,000 13,000 of spendable income so this is right so it's yes just checking the chart okay so now what we want to do is we want to open um, word so I'm going to go to my start button I'm clicking on Microsoft Office Word and I'm going to go to file and I'm going to click on um, new because I want to open up a template actually so I'm going to go to agenda and the agenda I'm going to pick is the conference agenda with tracking and I'm going to download that information so this is my template and I'm going to put my mouse here put one enter in and I'm going to insert a page break so I'm clicking on the insert tab and then I'm going to my pages group and I'm clicking on page break because I want a blank page okay so I'm clicking in this particular area now I'm going back to my Excel spreadsheet clicking on my budget clicking over here on my right which is my chart I'm right clicking the chart and I'm clicking on the command copy open up 
my Word document. I'm right clicking on the Word document. Once I right click on the Word document, it tells me to, I can choose, um, use destination theme and link data. I can do that. Or I can go to my home tab. There's, there's several ways you can do it. And click on, uh, go to the clipboard group, click on your drop down arrow for the paste. And you could probably see it better this way. Use destination theme, link data. Or I can use um, keep source fam formatting and link data. So I'm going to keep this one. Use source formatting and link data. So now let's go back to our Excel spreadsheet. All right. So I'm going to get over here in the columns and I want to make this income 4,000. Okay. So this income now is 4,000. That means my spendable income is three, $351. I'm going over to and you can see that this has changed okay before it was very large the red bar which was my spendable income and now you can see it's changed so let me just um, do the same thing for February so that you can see the difference I'm going to make this spendable in uh, my income 4,000 okay and I'm checking the Excel spreadsheet now my spendable income is $1,410 and you can see that the bars have changed now Let's just go to our Word document. And you can see that the bars have changed. 3,500 is a little bit over 3,500 is my there is my expense. My February expense is 2,000, a little bit over 2,500. Going back to my Excel spreadsheet, just looking at it and it matches exactly okay so that's linked now what we want to do is we want to link our PowerPoint with that so I'm going to open up the PowerPoint I'm going to go to file because I want a new PowerPoint okay and I want a blank one okay and I'm just going to add a, a different slide I'm going to erase the first slide so because I still have the um, chart on my clipboard I can go to paste and I can go to um, paste special that's what I want paste special then I want to click on paste link and I want to click on OK and my chart appears now once the chart appears I can resize it so that I can see it take out that bullet I want to be able to see this chart okay now see the chart and I want to go back to my Excel spreadsheet I'm going to change the numbers in my Excel spreadsheet to back to 16,000 for January and 16,000 for February checking my numbers in Excel my spendable income is now 12 over 12,000 and over 13,000 I'm checking my chart in Excel it's changed my spendable income is the red a little over 12 and so it's changed there going back to Word making sure it changed in Word and it did perfect and now I'm checking PowerPoint and it's changed so you have it you know how to dy dynamically link Excel Word and PowerPoint all you have to do is update Excel and all of your other documents change. Subscribe and have a great day. Bye-bye.